Hello everyone, happy to see you here on my channel, hi I'm SMATX, and today we have a really interesting challenge, we have a fast and quick challenge, x to the fifth power minus 1 equal to 0. Let's find all of these roots right here, let's do this right now. First of all, we need to know a really great identity, which helps us a lot, this identity looks like that, for example, if we have x to the power n, we have minus 1 right here, this is equal to x minus 1, so this is equal to a product x minus 1 and times another parenthesis. What do we have in another parenthesis? We have x to the power n minus 1 right here, plus x to the power n minus 2 right here, and a lot of these expressions, and until this one. So we have plus 1 in the end. And right now this applied this expression right here. This is absolutely the same case. As a result, what do we have right here? x minus 1, yeah, in these parentheses. So we have x minus 1 times another parenthesis, we have this expression in another parenthesis, let's plug in instead of n5, and we have x to the fourth power right here, so we have x to the fourth power right here, plus x cube, yeah, plus x cube, plus x square, plus x, and plus 1, equal to zero. Okay, we have something like that. So this is expression, so we factor our question. Right now, a product equal to zero when the first parenthesis is equal to zero, so basically the first parenthesis, this is our x minus one equal to zero, and from here, as you can see, we can easily find our first root, x first equal to one. This is really great. So as you can see, we find this first root real quickly, but we need to find all of these roots. But this root is right here, we have right here a really complicated expression, so right now let's separate this part right here and let's solve this second parenthesis. So what do we have right here? We have x to the fourth power plus x cube plus x square plus x plus 1 equal to zero. Okay, we have something like that. This is not a quadratic equation, this is really a bad moment right now, but I'm going to show you a really great trick how can we find these roots from here. First of all, let's divide both sides by x square. If we divide both sides by x square, and basically we can easily do this because x is not equal to zero. Yeah, x, x is not equal to zero. Let's divide both sides by x square. So what do we have right here? x to the fourth power all over x square, yeah, plus x cube all over x square, plus x square all over x square, so we divide all of the thing by x square, yeah, x square, plus x over x square, plus 1 over x square, and equal to, equal to 0, okay, we have this expression right now. Basically, according to the power rules, we can easily simplify this a little bit, so we can easily cancel this 4 and 2, yeah, we have right here x times x times x times x, and right here we have only 2 times, so as a result we have only x square from here, so let's write all of the thing right here, first of all, we have x square, Right here we have only x plus x, next we have plus 1, and next thing we have plus 1 over x, and plus 1 over x square, plus 1 over x square equal to, equal to 0. Okay, we have something like that. What are we going to do next? Let's group our expression. So let's group this x square with this thing, and let's group this x and 1 over x. Okay, let's do this. We can easily do this because this is addition all the time. Okay, so we can easily do this. So as a result, what do we have right here? We have x square plus 1 over x square plus, we have the thing plus x plus 1 over x, and we have right here plus 1 equal to zero. And right now this is the most common mistake right here because then a lot of students think that this is uh, x and this is x square, but it's not works like that. This is the most common mistake. A lot of students confused about this part. Just take a look closely. Just keep in mind this expression and I want to show you this really interesting trick. So for example, imagine that we squared this expression. So what expression? We have this one, x plus 1 over x if we square this expression. So just imagine, just keep in your mind this expression, but um, by the way, I'm going to show this one. So uh, we square this expression. As a result, according to the uh, formula right here, we have what? We have x square plus 2 times x and times 1 over x, yeah? And plus 1 over x square. Okay, basically we can easily cancel this x and x right here. And as a result, we have what? We have x square plus 2 and plus 1 over x square. Let's write this expression once more and let's change right here in, in order. Let's write this as x square plus 1 over x square and plus 2. Okay, it changed nothing because all the time we have addition. So let's write this expression. So we have x plus 1 over x square, yeah? And equal to, right here, x square plus 1 over x square. So we have x square plus 1 over x square and plus 2 from here. 
Right now, let's look closely. I really need this expression, x squared plus 1 over x squared. But from here, we can easily find this expression because uh, x squared plus 1 over x squared, let's look closely. This expression, x squared plus 1 over x squared equal to, what the thing? Right here, this expression, so x plus 1 over x squared, yeah, right here, and minus, minus 2. This is really interesting moment right now. And right now I'm going to plug in this expression uh, instead of this x squared plus 1 over x. I'm going to plug in this expression. Just take a look closely where do we plug in this. I'm going to plug in this question right here. So instead of this expression x squared plus 1 over x squared, I'm going to plug in this expression, okay? Okay, so I hope you understand this. I hope you understand this part. Let's do this right now. So instead of this addition, I'm going to plug in this expression. So what do we have right here? We have x plus 1 over x square, yeah, minus 2, so this is expression instead of this addition. And the next thing, we had this one, so plus x plus 1 over x, we can easily write it inside parentheses, yeah, and plus 1 equal to equal to 0. Okay, really great. Right now, if we look closely right here, this is a very interesting moment right now, because right now, if we write this expression, so x plus 1 over x, we have the same expressions right here, okay? So right now, we can easily write our substitution. So let this expression, so let's go with this substitution, so let x plus 1 over x equal to, for example, let's go with t, okay? And right now, really great moment, because we have t square, yeah, what do we have right here? We have a quadratic equation, yeah? We have t square minus 2 plus t, yeah, plus t plus 1 equal to 0. Let's simplify this a little bit. We, we can easily simplify this constant right here. And as a result, we have our quadratic equation. So what do we have right here? We have right here t square plus t and minus 1 equal to equal to 0. Okay, really great. Right now, this is a quadratic equation, so we can easily find a discriminant and we can easily solve this quadratic equation. Let's do this. So first of all, let's find discriminant real quick. Discriminant, this is our b square minus 4ac, all known formula right here. So let's plug in each of these elements into this spot right here. Everyone know about this a, b, and c, a equal to 1, b equal to 1, and c equal to minus 1. So let's do this. So what do we have right here? b square 1 minus, we have right here minus 4 times 1 and times minus 1. Basically, the big, the, this sign will be plus, and as a result, we have 1 plus 4, which is equal to 5. And really great. So right here, we'll have like real roots. This is really great. Uh, but instead of t, yeah, we have instead of t, real roots right here. Okay, so right now, let's find our t first and t second. So let's find it. So t first and t second equal to, what do we have right here? Minus b, we have minus 1, minus 1, plus minus, square root of discriminants of so square root of 5, and all over, all over to a. So all over, all over we have two. Okay, so we find both both roots right here instead of uh, according to the t. So right now we're gonna solve this challenge right here. So we know that t t equal to. Let's go with the plus sign. So we have minus one plus square root of five over two. We know this, but t equal to this expression. But x plus one over x equal to t. So as a result, we have one, one case and the second case. t equal to minus 1 minus square root of 5 over 2, but the same thing, but x plus 1 over x equal to equal to t. So right now I'm going to solve these both cases because we need to find all this root right here. So let's solve this question right now. Let's solve this both cases. Okay, so the first case, t first with the plus sign, let's go, minus 1 plus square root of 5 all over 2, and x plus 1 of x equal to t. So let's solve our, uh, let's find our x from this question. So first of all, x plus 1 of x right here, so let's write all of the thing. So we have x plus 1 over x equal to this thing, minus 1 plus minus 1 plus square root of 5 over over 2. How can we find our x? Let's, uh, for example, let's add the thing on the left side. So as a result, what do we have right here? We have x is our common denominator. And as a result, we have x square plus 1. Yeah, right here we have x square plus 1 equal to this expression, minus 1 plus square root of 5 over over 2. Right now, let's use cross multiplying right here. We can easily we can easily do this. Let's do this right now. So we have two times this parentheses. As a result, we have 2x square plus 2 and equal to x times this expression, minus 1 plus square root of 5, plus square root of 5. 
Okay, really great. What we're going to do next, let's bring all of the things right here from right to left side. As a result, what do we have right here? 2x square minus x times these parentheses, minus 1 plus square root of 5, yeah, and plus 2 equal to equal to 0. Right now, really interesting moment. How can we find these roots from here? First of all, this is a quadratic equation, but instead of like a common expression, so we prefer like, for example, this is an integer, but we have right here a complicated expression, but doesn't matter. We will find our roots real easily, and let's do this right now. First of all, let's change right here position. So for easier, like uh, for easier calculation, let's change right here position. So as a result, we have 2x square minus x, and we can easily change position. So square root of 5 minus 1 plus 2 equal to 0. Okay, really great. Right now, let's find a discriminant to this question. So the other discriminant, because this is a quadratic equation, this is a square, this is b, this is c. So our discriminant, this is our b square minus 4ac. Okay, basically. So right now, b square, right here we have b square. So this is our square root of 5 minus 1. We squared it and minus 4 times, minus 4 times 2 and times 2 times 2 and times 2. As a result, this is a quadratic formula right here. So we have like 5 minus 2 square root of 5 and plus 1. Yeah, instead of the thing, we write something like that. And minus, we have right here 4 times 2 times 2 equal to 16. And as a result, this is equal to, we have um, minus 10, okay? So we have minus 10 minus 2 square root of 5. 2 square root of 5. And right now we can easily uh, factor this minus 1 from this expression. And as a result, we have um, right here minus 10 plus square root of 5. Plus 2 square root of 5. Okay, this is our discriminant, but, but one really interesting moment. This is a negative uh, expression. So right now we will have like complex roots. Okay, so let's find our complex roots right here. So uh, we know that x first equal to 1. So from here we know, uh, before we solved it, that x first equal to 1. And right now, let's find our second and third root. So we have x second and third equal to, right now we have minus b, minus a discriminant, minus b, we have right here minus, and we have this, still this, have, they still have this expression, so square root of 5 minus 1. We have plus minus, square root of discriminant, square root of this expression, so minus, we have right here 10 plus 2 square root of 5, yeah? plus 2 square root of 5, and all over right here, 2a, 2a, this is 2 times 2 equal to, equal to 4, okay, equal to 4. So this is equal to, let's go with the new line right here, let's simplify this a little bit. So first of all, let's create our complex unit right here, because this is a negative discriminant, so let's create our complex unit. So we have right here, square root of 5, minus 1, plus minus, square root, instead of this uh, minus, let's write right here something like that, minus 1, and times another parenthesis. So 10 plus 2 square root of 5 over all over 4. Right now we can easily split up a square root right here. So we can easily write the, this square root times another square root. Yeah. So basically this is our complex unit. This is our i. So as a result we have right here square root of 5 minus 1 plus minus i square root of 10 plus 2 square root of 5. Yeah. 10 plus 2 square root of 5, and all over, all over 4. Basically, we can easily leave this expression like that, but we can easily simplify this a little bit. So let's divide everything by 4. Let's do this. So equal to, we have square root of 5 over 4, minus 1 over 4, minus 1 over 4, plus minus, and right now we have this complex unit, we have i, and instead of this 4, so let's bring this 4 inside square root, okay? As a result, we will have like a big square root right here, 10 plus 2 square root of 5, and all over 16, okay? Basically, something like that. And right now, let's do the same thing as before. Let's divide 10 by 16 and this expression by 16. And as a result, we have like the next thing. We have square root of 5 minus 4 minus 1 over 4 plus minus i square root of, and inside of square root we have 5 over 8, because we have 10 over 16, this is the same as 5 over 8, yeah? So we have 5 over 8, and plus square root of 5 over 8, plus square root of 5 over over 8. This is our two, this is our second and third root right here. So this is our second and third root. So right now we know, right now what do we know right here? We know that x first equal to 1, x second equal to 
square root of 5 minus 4 minus 1 over 4 with the plus sign that goes so plus i square root of 5 over 8 plus square root of 5 over 8 and the third root so we find our third root also yeah we have x third equal to with the minus sign let's go so square root of 5 minus 4 minus 1 fourth and minus i square root of 5 over 8 plus square root of 5 over 8 something like that this is our three roots but we need to find two more roots but where can we find this root first of all as i told before we had two cases so this is only first case with the plus sign but right now we're going to solve this with negative sign and we will find all these roots so we will find fourth and fifth roots so let's do the third let's do the thing right now and the last step to this question t second equal to this expression with the minus sign before we solve with the plus sign but our last step is to solve this with the minus sign and this expression equal to t so as a result what do we have right here we have the next thing we have right here we have x plus 1 over x so we have x plus 1 over x equal to this expression with the minus sign so we have minus 1 minus square root of 5 over over 2 Okay, really great. Right now the same logic. We have the common denominator right here, so we have x, and in, uh, on the top right here in our numerator we have x square plus 1, yeah? And equal to minus 1 minus square root of 5 over 2. Right now absolutely the same thing. Let's uh, use cross multiplying right here. So what do we have right here as a result? 2x square plus 2 in our numerator. Uh, not like in numerator, we just uh, use our cross multiplying, so 2x square plus 2 equal to x times this expression minus 1 minus square root of 5 minus 1 minus square root of 5 okay really great what are we going to do next right now let's uh, let's simplify this a little bit let's write it in another way so let's uh, look at this uh, right side so we have right here 2x square plus 2 but instead of this expression inside parentheses let's write the next thing let's write minus x so we just bring in this from our right to left so we have minus x and right here we have minus 1 and times this expression so with the minus sign because we factor minus so as a result inside parentheses we have 1 plus square root of 5 okay and equal to 0 equal to 0 right now change position a little bit and let's multiply this minus sign with this minus sign as a result we'll have plus so what do we have right here we have 2x square minus with this minus gives us plus so we have plus x and times this expression 1 plus square root of 5 square root of 5 and plus 2 we still have plus 2 okay plus 2 equal to 0 okay right now this is a quadratic equation this is our b a square this is b this is c so right now let's find a discriminant to this question so first of all our discriminant discriminant equal to b square so 1 plus square root of 5 b square so we have minus 4 times a times c so times 2 times 2 which is equal to so right here we have 1 square so we have 1 plus 2 square root of 5 this is our like classic formula yeah plus 5 and minus minus 16 okay so 1 plus 5 6 6 minus 16 minus 10 so as a result we have 2 square root of 5 minus 10 this is our discriminant and basically uh, we can easily find our roots from here because so let's do the, let's do the thing right now so uh, we have right here our x equal to absolutely the same thing as i told before with this uh, previous step but we have right here our like in other roots right here so x equal to we have minus b we have minus 1 minus square root of 5 minus b so minus 1 minus square root of 5 plus minus square root of discriminant okay square root of discriminant 2 square root of 5 minus 10 this is our discriminant and all over 2a a equal to 2 so as a result we divide all of the thing by by 4 okay really great right now let's create a complex unit right here because this this is a complex solution because this is a complex root right here because 2 square root of 5 this is less thing uh, this is less expression than 10 so 10 is bigger expression like that so let's do this so right here we have minus 1 minus square root of 5 we have right here plus minus and right now let's write it as minus 1 so let's take this complex unit right here let's factor this complex unit and as a result we have right here 10 minus 2 square root of 5 so 10 minus 2 square root of 5 really great and we divide all of the thing by by 4 right now this is a complex unit so as a result let's let's write all of the thing right here and let's divide both parts by 4 well, let's do the thing uh, as, as our next step but let's uh, solve this statement like that minus 1 minus square root of 5 we have right here plus minus i 
and inside of square root we have 10 minus 2 square root of 5. So 10 minus 2 square root of 5 and all over all over 4. Right now the previous uh, the same step as we did it before let's divide all of the thing by 4. So our numerator uh, by parts we divide by 4. As a result we have minus 1 fourth minus square root of 5 over 4 plus minus i and the same thing we just take this uh, 4 inside square root and as a result we have 10 minus 2 square root of 5 all over 16 okay and right now we do the same thing 10 over 16 and 2 over 16 equal to so from here we have minus 1 over 4 minus square root of 5 over 4 plus minus i square root of instead instead of this parenthesis we have 5 over 8 so we have 5 over 8 minus square root of 5 over 8. Okay, so we find our fourth and fifth root. Okay, let's do this. So x fourth equal to minus 1 over 4 minus square root of 5 over 4. Let's go with the plus sign. So plus i square root of 5 over 8 minus square root of 5 over 8 right here and the fifth root x fifth with the minus sign. So we have minus 1 over 4 minus square root of 5 over 4 we have minus right here i square root of 5 over 8 minus square root of 5 over 8 right here and this is our old old solution to this challenge right now we're going to write all of this solution in another paper right here and we will see like a plot to this challenge and a complex plane so we can easily see all this solution to this really interesting question okay so in conclusion let's write all of the truths right here that we found before so basically x to the fifth power minus one a lot of students might be saying hey mister this is like very easy challenge x equal to one but as you can see we have a, a lot of work right here we find a lot of roots right here so right now now let's write all of the thing and basically if we have fifth power that it means that we have no more than fifth roots right here no more than five roots okay so let's start for example with the first one very basic uh, first root everyone like this root because this is like the easiest challenge uh, according to this root because uh, when these people solve this challenge by inspection this is a really great moment x first equal to one people very like this root but a lot of students make this common mistake they say that okay we have a real number root and we don't need to solve this challenge at all right here but it's not works like that as you can see we find a lot of real great really great root so real number root so this is real solution this is real solution this is first solution real solution right now x second as i told before we solve this challenge completely so x second this is our complex root so square root of 5 over 4 minus 1 fourth and plus i square root of 5 over 8 and plus square root of 5 over 8 yeah this is our complex root complex complex solution right here really great right now the third solution we have first five solutions so right now the third one x third equal to square root of five over four minus one fourth but with the minus signs right here we have minus sign i square root of five over eight plus square root of five over eight and this is also complex complex solution really great right now the first solution let's let's write this solution we have solved it before so x fourth equal to minus one fourth minus square root of five over four plus i and inside of square root we have absolutely the same thing but with the minus sign so five over eight minus square root of five over eight and this is also a complex complex solution and the fifth solution right here we as you can see we solve this challenge completely so x to the x fifth equal to minus one fourth minus square root of five over four and minus i square root of five over eight minus square root of five right here we have five over eight and this is also a complex complex solution so as you can see we solve this challenge completely we find all these roots right here so right now i'm going to show you a plot as you can see right here in this point of intersection right here only to this graph intersects only in the one point when x equal to one and right now we can easily see the complex plane you can see the complex graph so as you can see these four these four solution these four complex solution I hope you understand this explanation. I hope you learned something new. Write a question down into the comment section. What do you think about this question? And also, thank you for your time. Thank you for your support. Thank you, everyone. If you leave a like, write any comment. I really appreciate it. It helps me a lot. It inspires me a lot to make new content every day. And thank you for your time. See you in the next videos. And have a great day.